Hello and welcome to the 22nd tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at sequencing. We'll be looking at the sequence method to be able to sequence multiple actions one after each other. Um, we'll be using a move by action and a fade to action as well to illustrate this. This tutorial is going to on tutorial 3. If you haven't done tutorial free, there'll be a link in the description to the source code, and as usual, there'll be a link in the description to the source code for the sorry for the source code produced in this tutorial. And let's just open up the project from tutorial free in Xcode and let's get started. Okay, you want to go to myapp.js. After we've added the sprite as a child, we want to create two sprite actions. The first one. Call it sprite underscore action equals cc dot move by dot create open bracket first you specify the animation duration we'll put two seconds then comma cc dot p open bracket how much we want to want it to move by number fifty comma one hundred close bracket semicolon and create a second action var sprite underscore action Two equals cc dot fade two dot create open bracket. I'm going to put two seconds for the duration. I'm going to make it fade to zero, which is basically invisible. Put a semicolon. Then we just need to create a sequence action var sequence and action equals cc dot sequence dot create open bracket now we specify the order of each action so we know first we're just going to do the first sprite action that we declared and then the second sprite action and then put a semicolon and finally we just gotta run the sequence action this dot my sprite dot run action open bracket sequence action close bracket semicolon let's just sort out the formatting Okay, let's just click build and run, and you'll open up the application in the simulator. Here we go. There you go. As you can see, it moved by 50 and 100 pixels in the X and the Y axis, respectively, for a period of two seconds, and after that, for a period of two seconds, it faded from full appearance to nothing. That is how you use sequence. It's, it's very easy, it's very easy to chain different actions together to make games. That's all you've got to do. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at skewing using the skew by method, but that's for the next tutorial. All the required source code will be in the description as usual via links, and thanks for watching.